You'd be surprised how many times, well, if you see our what not to do segments, you'd be su you wouldn't be surprised, but most people are surprised at how many heaters we go to check and they're outside in the elements getting rained on. Guess what? Water and electricity don't mix. And sooner or later, that water, that rainwater hitting the electrical outlets could cause a fire. And that's not 120 volt that's on a water heater. That's 240 volts. It's a lot more power. You know, that, that doesn't work well. But guess what? We have the shed. The shed goes outside. Okay? It's very simple to open. You put the water heater inside. It's big enough for even a gas water heater on a stand. It's got the opening if we need it for the, for the venting. If we don't need it, we've got a little cover for electrical. But you can put this on. You attach it right to a concrete wall or to, an, or to any wall. And it stays nice and tight. Perfect little thing to put outside. And it's not expensive. So people, instead of destroying your water heater and having a water heater last you three or four years, that doesn't even make the warranty period. And it, you know, nowadays to get warranty, you have to send pictures or the heater back to any manufacturer. You're not gonna get any, any coverage when you use that, when you send back a heater that's been rained on for four or five years. Well, with the shed, you solve that problem. And if you've already installed the heater and you say, oh my God, what am I gonna do? This is, the shed is not that difficult to build. You can build it with the heater in place. Build it around the heater if you want. It's not a big deal. It's got the opening in the back, so the pipes slide right in. It's a piece of cake. And it won't destroy your, your the elements won't destroy your water heater. So another benefit of this shed is people call us all the time and say, I want to take this water here in my house. Well, but the electrical panel is all the way on the side of the house. What am I gonna do? I can get expensive to get an electrician to run piping to run electricity all the way from one side of the house to the other, because you need a number six wire to run that 13 kilowatt. And it's expensive, but then you have to. You have to on the other side. You have to listen, and you know if, you, if it's anything. My wife, you know, I don't want this big water heater in my garage it's taking up so much space. I could find other things to, to put there, and it's ugly. Well, use a shed. Take it. Just put it on the other side of the wall. Put it on the outside. Now you give your wife that opening that she wants to put other stuff in there, and you have the heater outside protected, not having any problems. Win-win.